All right. So we go to fasting. If uh, okay, Prophet Daniel, twenty-one days of fasting. If he stopped fasting, would God still answer his prayer? And let me combine, please. Combine. Based on Acts fourteen twenty-three, is fasting meant for New Testament believers? Well, what is fasting? What do we call morning food? Eh? Who breaks a fast? One who has fasted. So that means every day we fast. Whether Christians or non-Christians. Every human being including animals fast. That's why in the morning everybody breaks fast. Why are you laughing? I'm serious. Even this morning. If you have not eaten, you are still fasting. If you have eaten, you broke your fast. You see, the problem is religion has messed us up. Religion tells you it is not fasting until it is 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. What about 6 p.m. to 6 a.m.? You fast every night. It's just that it is not recorded because you are sleeping. If you stayed awake to read and pray, that's fasting. It's even better to fast at night than in the day. Because in the day there are a lot of distractions. In the day there is a lot of activity. But at night everywhere is calm. So if you take your nights and turn them into fasting, prayer and Bible study. You will benefit more at night than in the day. Now, what is Daniel's fast? It's a fasting where you eat. Daniel's fast is a fasting where you eat food. It's not abstinence from food. The Bible says he fasted 21 days and he ate no pleasant bread. That means he ate bread. It's like eating food without meat. That's fasting. Not because you don't have the meat, but you decided to fast away the meat. That's fasting. You can fast your phone. You shut it down to pray for a day. That's fasting. You can fast television. You put your TV off to concentrate. Don't let religion. And if you fast and don't pray and read the Bible, you're on hunger strike. It's not fasting. Fasting is a discipline that enables you to concentrate on your fellowship with God. Are we in the building? So do Christians fast? Yes. Do Christians deliberately fast? Yes. Why do we fast? To discipline our bodies so we can focus. Finish. There's no power in fasting. You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come. Not after you fast. So what does fasting do for us? It just helps us to be focused. It's self-discipline. No, the flesh is dead. Fasting doesn't kill the flesh. The flesh is not this in Bible. The flesh is a way of thinking. To be carnally minded. To be spiritually minded. It's a mind. Flesh is in the mind. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Stop punishing it. Your body has been bought with a price. Don't abuse it. Treat it well. Eat well. Sleep well. And take rest. Keep your body in good state. You need it for the purpose of God. If you are sinning, deal with your mind. Don't deal with your body. It is what your mind says that your body carries out. If you are fornicating, it's here. If it's adultery, it is here. If it's anger, it's here. If it's lies, it's here. Principalities are here. Powers are here. So deal with your mind that's what the bible said do not be conformed to this world but be transformed how by the renewing of your mind and what does what does the renewing of the mind is bible teaching the more we teach the more your mind is renewed am i communicating at all so why do we fast to stay focused stop punishing your body your body is not your problem your real problem is here so fasting no no it's not necessarily the abstinence of food it could be the abstinence of sex in a marriage a husband can decide not to have sex with his wife so he can pray so he fasted his sex for prayer it can also be the 
absence of going to work you can take time off work to pray you fasted your your work away for prayer huh? you're still eating but you're fasting because you gave up something important which there are things that are more important than food are we teaching here so that's why in the new testament there's no definite verse on fasting there's none it's not a teaching but it is a practice because the apostles practiced it in acts chapter 13 as they fasted and prayed the holy ghost said so fasting is part of consecration for the believer consecration you can consecrate food you can consecrate tv you can consecrate things that try to get you addicted and interfere with your work with god you consecrate by giving them away are we teaching so that's why do teaching in the apostolic books the only thing you will hear paul say on fasting is in fastings often in fastings often why was paul fasting often because sometimes he was in circumstances where there was no food so he turned it to fasting it wasn't deliberate it was circumstantial he's in prison no food he turns it to fasting so that's why he said in fastings often and if you read the text where he said it he talked about peril he talked about persecution he talked about suffering many things from my countrymen so the context of in fastings often is circumstances created the necessity for him to fast is it clear